Well, I woke up this morning from a reoccurring dream. Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by a chart, Kirk. What's up? Look, um... <laughs> What's going on? How are you, Jabby? This is our second time doing this intro. Can and you I read? I just like, don't mess it up this time. Reviewing the lowest rated Bollywood movie from Slaypoint. Thank you, Slaypoint, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it, y'all. If you haven't already, subscribe to Slaypoint. There's a link in the description below. You can click on that link. You have the original and upvote. Subscribe to them from there. Also, please subscribe here. Hit that bell icon. All notifications. And pretty please, vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And here we go. Reviewing the lowest rated Bollywood movie. Disney Hot Star Plus. <laughs> <laughs> एक स्टार फिल्म को देता हूँ टू स्टार एक फिल्म क्रिटिक ही जानता है कि फाइव स्टार रेटिंग कैसे लाए इसलिए जब वो खुद मूवी बनाए उसे मिलती है वन पॉइंट फाइव वो भी आउट ऑफ टेन देश के ऊपर ऐसी अमेजिंग मूवी जो देश के गवर्नमेंट ने बैन कर दी जिसके प्रीमियर पे लोग एक्साइटमेंट से कूद रहे थे सर इस मूवी में क्या खास है हमने बड़ी मेहनत की है लेकिन नहीं चाहती की फिल्म रिलीज हो सेम ईयर <laughs> क्योंकि ऐसी सजा कोई देशद्रोही ही बना सकता है एक्शन थ्रिलर <laughs> भाई साहब तो जैसे अवेंजर्स ही बना डाले <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on. If I understand the conceit of this, basically a a critic from YouTube made a movie that got panned or didn't even get released because it was so bad. Yeah, no, I didn't realize that he was a YouTube critic. I thought he was just a critic, but he like he made a movie. All the same. Yeah, and it was no good. Dialogue hula. Are dek dek tum tum se lekar andhadhun action jahan passenger hi bus chalata hai jaise wo GTA khel raha hai sare khud ko hi introduce karne wale naam ke sath pichwada nice jo movie ro baat hai sab kar raha hai story screenplay dialogues act ye jo bhi hai kyunki jab budget kam ho to multi talent ka dhong karna padta hai movie mein kaise se lagan se desdroi amar verma bagwan se desdroi rishita bhat srk se krk are ye movie hai ki career suicide spot ab krk bol kar raha hai ek reaction channel ka are और उनका oh ये राजा है राजा नाम है अच्छा नाम है राजा नाम है तो दिल का भी राजा ही होगा छोटू छोटू नाम है अच्छा नाम है छोटू नाम है तो दिल का भी छोटू ही होगा चल निकल दिल कहाँ से आ गया निकल मेरी माँ जैसा सोचती थी बिल्कुल तुमने वैसा ही अपना जीवन साथी चुना है इसकी मम्मी को इससे कोई उम्मीद ही नहीं थी सोचा भी तो ये एलियन कहते हैं अनु मलिक ये मूवी रिपीट पे देखते हैं मुंबई मुंबई आने के बाद मुंबई आने के बाद मुंबई है मेरे भाई मुंबई मुंबई है ये मुंबई है यहाँ कानून के ढोल नहीं बजते भाई मूवी लिख रहे थे या मुंबई विकिपीडिया पे ये पत्थरों का शहर है इनफैक्ट डायलॉग्स भी इनके गानों की तरह खाने लाश पोड़ दे शमशान माती यहाँ है और बॉडी जाके शमशान में गिरती है ओरिजिनल <laughs> तो मूवी स्टार्ट होते ही कॉन्स्टिपेटेड राजा बाथरूम की ओर हवे में स्विमिंग करके जाता है और हकते हकते मुंबई पहुँचते ही थर्की गिरी शुरू एक मिनट पसीने वाला रुमाल चुरा के हनीमून में नाचने के सपने इतना तो भी 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 केमिस्ट्री ने भी नहीं किया यू नो सम डूड्स इनटू दैट सम डूड्स लाइक दैट आई नो सम गाइस हैव अ अ वियर्ड आर्मपिट फेटिश दैट्स अ थिंग इन जापान एंड दैट्स आल्सो अ थिंग इन अ चार्ल्स डीएमस या फॉर रियल्स The, yeah, this is true. I once saw in the weirdest parts of the blue film hole a nose fetish. I don't even want to know. Like you didn't see anything other than like the nose being like pulled on. I've said this before, I'm sure, to you and to the audience, where the nose was being like tugged like this. Uh huh. Oh the, oh. And the girl was moaning. I had a very very different idea. That's also fun. Of what happened. <laughs> That's also fun. You know, when you get bored, you try things out. आधा गाना निकल गया कुछ तो कर लीजिए अरे अरे फर्स्ट रेमो डी फूफा डी आई डी का विनर ही ना बना दे आपको आप अपना मैराथन ही जारी रखिये प्लीज पानी ले सर मतलब इन चारों ने मिलके बस मच्छर भगाना और गंगा जल छिड़कना सिखाया अब मुंबई में फॉर एवर अलोन राजा अपने दोस्त को ढूंढता है वहाँ से तुम्हें जोगेश्वरी की बस मिलेगी उसमें बैठ जाओ पहुँचा देगी क्या करो 
भटकती आत्मा ये जोगेश्वरी नहीं मरीन ड्राइव है बट फिर वो लगाता है अल्टीमेट खोज स्ट्रेटेजी भाई साहब आप शेखर को जानते हैं शेखर को नहीं जानता कमाल है अरे भाई साहब आप शेखर को जानते हैं भाई साहब आप गौतमी को जानते हैं कमाल भाई साहब आप थोड़ा आप चूना है रगड़ लो पहले आप गौतमी को जानते हैं कौन गौतमी नहीं मैं पूरा नेम नहीं बता सकता आपके पास इतना ही हिंट है कमाल है रियल लाइफ की तरह के आर के इसमें भी नहीं जानते कि वो चाहते क्या है भाई भाई ही आपस में लड़ने लगे तो फिर देश का क्या होगा उससे ज्यादा प्यार तुम्हारे लिए हमारे सीने में है मैं वॉचमैन का काम नहीं करूंगा शेखर ने मेहनत करके कॉलेज तक की पढ़ाई वॉचमैन बनने के लिए की थी हाँ क्योंकि कॉलेज तक की पढ़ाई तो इसने फल बेचने के लिए की थी मैं आपकी इस दुकान पे काम कर सकता हूँ लॉजिक तो ये किसी नाले में फेंका है और फिजिक्स भी क्योंकि हीरो तो न्यूटन को सुपारी देके ग्रेविटी मिटवा सकता है एक्चुअली ये रक्षा बंधन पे मूवी है पर विदाउट बहने ये भी भैया वो भी भैया मैं भी भैया हूँ सरकार को बी का नाम बदल कर भैया ट्रांसपोर्ट रख देना चाहिए अरे भाई बनने का इतना क्रेज तो सलमान भाई को भी नहीं था और जब आपको मोहल्ले की सारी लड़कियाँ भाई बना ले हाय भैया तू भैया तेरा बाप राजा हर कोशिश करता है मूवी में कुछ ना करने की तो एक अकेली लाचार औरत पर जुल्म हो रहा है अरे आप लोग आइए ना अरे लड़ने बुला रहे हो या किसी गरबा महोत्सव में अरे आप लोग आइए ना प्लीज आइए ना फ्री बुफे के नाम पे नाच लेना प्लीज कोई तो पर सडनली पसीने के स्मेल से खुद भोंदू से मुर्गा छाप चक्री बन जाता है और इनके बम फोड़ देता है कि हीरो कितना भी चुम हो वो पैदाइशी कराटे का ब्लैक बेल्ट जरूर होगा बॉलीवुड का बस चले ना तो ये खली को राजपाल यादव से ही पिटवा दे अब राजा के दादा का एक सपना है कि लोग तुझे सलूट कर रहे हैं पर बची हुई स्क्रिप्ट देख के वो पहले ही गुजर गए हमें भी तभी निकल जाना चाहिए था क्योंकि आगे एक्टिंग ही स्लो मो में कर लो ताकि एडिटर को स्लो मोशन करना ही ना पड़े मेरा ड्राइवर आपको सही सलामत मेरे फार्म हाउस पर ले आएगा ये निकल लिया अपना करियर बचाने ये ना होता तो कोई दूसरा गम होना था मैं तो वो हूँ जिसे हर हाल में बस रोना था हाय हाय इसको तो व्हाट्सएप स्टेटस बनाओ सीधा राजा छुपता है नाले और कचरे के ट्रक में क्योंकि उसे अपनी जगह पता है फिर मिनिस्टरों का ले Golly. But, yeah. So, if I understand this correctly, he was an actor first and then became a film critic. I don't know. Cuz he looks older as a film critic unless like I they look like two different people. That's the same dude, isn't it? Is it? I'm not being racist. That's the same guy. I thought they looked different. Oh, I guess I guess so. Yeah. This is the reviewer. Yeah, he's the reviewer. So, my point is this <clears throat> oh, okay, I see. He, yeah, he must have been younger, or oh, I don't know. My point is this: he went the different route than Kevin Smith, because Kevin Smith, he was a director, right? Slowly, while directing, still he was also, you know, a guest film critic from time to time, because he loves movies. You know, Kevin Smith just loves films, and eventually, he just became a full-time critic. And the thing about Kevin Smith is, it's hard to find a bad review from him. He loves movies so much that he's, <laughs> as he gets older, he just becomes more and more accepting of them. He's just always coming at it with the positivity. Well, yeah, also because he probably understands how difficult. Cult it is to get a movie made, exactly. so he's not about to like shit on every yeah. single movie. You there, know what I mean? There was only one instance I can recall where he was a guest on Ebert and Roper. He subbed in with Roper, and there was this film that Roper was just championing, and Kevin Smith just went to town on it, tearing it apart. It was the <laughs> only time, I, and he was just like, "Roper, you should be ashamed of yourself." And Roper's like, "God damn!" As a pleasant romantic comedy fantasy, I found it to be note perfect. That's thumbs up, Kevin. Thank God I'm not in the studio with you because I would choke for life. At out of you dude come on this film is terrible you want to talk about a no perfect script the no perfect script would have been the dude that was just like let's not make this movie <laughs> <laughs> my point is i've only seen kevin smith give one movie a bad rating it's interesting to me that you have an individual here uh -huh. who would be so hard on movies given that he did one and it wasn't even good it's interesting The thing about it is, I took this um, DVD film class once, a long time ago, and his name is Dove S. S. Simmons. Mm -hmm. And he teaches you everything from writing, producing, directing, distribution, all that stuff, if you ever guys want to look it up. He gets the question all the time, how come you're not making movies if you know so much? He goes, because I'm the teacher, that's why. 
<laughs> well, yeah, you some know? people are better at teaching. Some some people are better at being a critics. Critic, yeah, it's fine and dandy for you and I to sit here and and watch something and then break it down and and maybe say like what we thought didn't work or how we thought it could be better. But it's completely different when you're the person who's creating it, and now you're like, uh. I hope it's good. Do you know? Oh, what that's I mean? why I always say all the time, I'm just a dude on a couch making opinions. Yeah. You know? And so like my position's quite different. It's easy for me to judge having not been in that position. Sure. Yeah. You know, I always make that clear. This shit sucks. <laughs> just kidding. I have vibe. It's a, like a massive platform. Yeah, I mean, sometimes actors do that because they have, you know, a, a Napoleon complex. So, yeah. And overall, the failure of this film is larger than his shoes. Sir, why did you make this movie? Look, it's all the time. I had to make zero. Sir, but you got a half. What? Sir, who has liked it? Who has liked it? Take it and go to the hospital. You're going to die. What are you doing in the contract? <laughs> oh god <laughs> wow oh now i know where this fits in history in youtube history. right 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 uh, this feels akin to the acting teacher that wanted to be an actor but failed miserably and so now it's this he or she's just an angry acting teacher berating right. his or her students into giving up yeah i don't like that method of teaching i think you know positivity no. helps but anyway that moment when they're both in the bed and they're like oh my god we made it to the end of the movie i know that feeling all too well if you've ever been to like a friend's movie premiere you're like oh god oh god yeah oh god okay oh we made it <laughs> you know we got to the end we can leave when can we get drinks <laughs> yeah exactly and all i have is like french fries yeah they don't even have like proper snacks after the movie yeah uh, anyway <laughs> this is being spoiled bread making a movie's hard it is it's really hard and i've only made short films and have been part of film projects but and so it's like i know how difficult it is just to do like even a fucking brand deal is difficult sometimes mm -hmm. well the way we do it because it's all like involved and whatnot yeah so i try my best to be considerate of that i only go hard on something when i feel like the film has gone out of its way to just be a commercial property and not actually do anything meaningful. I have been frustrated with films from time to time where I'm just like, yo, you didn't even try. This is just a cash grab and nothing more. Like you didn't even try to pass it off as something meaningful. Mm -hmm. You know, everything at the end of the day is a cash grab. Everything at the end of the day is for money. All of it is. You think Spider-Man No Way Home was made purely for art? No, it was made to make money and it already hit over a billion dollars at the box office. What about art house movies though? I mean, I guess everyone wants to make their investment back at yes. least, right? Yes, that's why you have, you know, um, Fox, what's it called? Searchlight. Searchlight, exactly. The way he, I mean, I don't know what films he's talking about because he said, you know, they showed him being very, very mean to the filmmakers. Who knows what movie he was referring to? He could have been referring to something I would have hated. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it's mean to tell someone to F off though. <laughs> I personally wouldn't do that. That's not my style. Yeah. But everybody has their own style. Sure. You know, maybe it's okay to be a little bit more caustic as a film critic I in India. I think people, people enjoy that. Like when you come on the internet, you're either expecting to see people who are very happy with whatever the thing is that you love and you you want to hear that or validation. that that validation or you want to hear the validation of this thing is absolute garbage yeah and i'm gonna shit all over it now and people love that people love drama they love spilling the tea and they love ah this sucks why you gotta be so mean yeah. now now slate point had to yeah. two years ago show you what's up yeah <laughs>
but damn like i love the uh, subtitles in this as well because like it just made it so much funnier too like some of the little uh things in brackets or parentheses that they were saying i was like wow you know i'm sure that whatever they're saying in hindi is super duper funny and then they've also made the subtitles really funny yeah. as well in their own right so you know we could get a little chuckle from watching and, and reading the subtitles too he's got almost a million subscribers this kamal r khan guy he's got almost 50 million views so it's it's working for him whatever he's doing is working for him i think his banner looks wacky <laughs> fuck but you know it's working for him and that's what's important like i can think whatever the hell i want to think about it but if it's working for you it's working for you and that's what matters at the end of the day yeah you know tommy wiseau makes whack-ass movies but it's working for him he's he has made so much money off of the room it's pathetic like that's a really bad movie i know you've never seen it it's a really bad movie and it's made him so much money you would have never thought that it would get cult following that it has but you know kamal arkhan has a million almost a million followers and he gets really good he gets decent views yeah anywho this was fun you guys thanks so much for hanging out with us hopefully you enjoyed that if you have a favorite kamal Small Archon review that you'd like us to check out. I don't know if it's got subtitles or photos. So never mind that. <laughs> never mind. I, I said nothing. You can go now. Uh, bye. Thank you, Slay Point, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon. All notifications have been pretty. Please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.